Welcome to CBS This Morning. We're going to begin with major developments on an overnight job action against one of the country's big three automakers. For the first time in more than a decade, workers are staging a nationwide strike against General Motors. United Auto Workers Leadership. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Brink of Speed. As the title stated, GM has a strike against them, and this could definitely affect the production of the brand new 2020 C8 Corvette. So let's go ahead and jump into that. But before we do, I just want to state that I'm not on anyone's side here. I'm not going against GM. I'm not going against the employees, and I'm not going against the union. I'm basically just stating what's going on in the news right now and want to talk about how it could affect the C8 mid-engine Corvette. And so, as you saw in the opening clip, GM has a strike against them right now from their employees. Uh, they tried to come to resolution yesterday and the employees said, no, we're not going to accept that. They're going to try and come to resolution today. Uh, who knows if they'll accept it, but this is not good. This is going to hurt GM. This is going to hurt more than GM, and I'm going to get into that here in a second. But it's not good. Um, now, as far as hurting the C8 goes, I don't know that it particularly will hurt the C8 because, as you know, or maybe not know, uh, the production was not really going to start for a couple of months. Now, there is talk that it could start in October. There is talk it might be November. Um, but at the latest, it would be December. Will this hurt the C8 production if it is in October? Uh, probably not because we have a couple of weeks before October's here. And these usually are resolved in, you know, a week to two weeks. And then the employees are back to work. And so hopefully it's not going to hurt that at all. But... Let's not concentrate on that for a second. I want to talk about how this is going to hurt uh, the economy, period. Number one, obviously, uh, you've got employees out of work. Number two, you have a lot of businesses that are normally uh, frequented by these GM employees, and they're no longer probably going to be frequented because GM employees have a schedule, and they have it set where they go to a certain restaurant in the morning and they go to a certain restaurant when they get off work late at night. A lot of GM employees work till one or two in the morning and they have, uh, if you live in Michigan, they have Coney Islands out there and a lot of employees go straight across the street to a Coney Island and eat, you know, a, a very late dinner. So they won't be doing any of these normal routines. So anyway, it's not going to just affect uh, GM and their production. It's not going to just affect their employees. It's going to affect the whole uh, structure around GM. So it's not good. It needs to be resolved and I hope it does soon. If you work for GM, I hope that things are resolved as soon as possible and you can get back to work and you can get something that satisfies you. But that's really pretty much it. I wanted to talk about this uh, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below, especially if you work for GM. Let me know what you think about whether this will affect the C8 production or if it's not really going to affect it at all because it's still a couple weeks to a month or maybe more out. Um, and if you don't work for GM, let me know what your opinions are in the comment uh, section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and it, it brought you some news that you didn't know about, give me a big thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to the Brink of Speed community, make sure you hit that red subscribe and bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. And as you know, I'm going to cover the news uh, that's out there in the car world. So uh, if there's something new that pops up, I'll be on top of it and I'll get it back to you guys. So again, that's it. I hope each and every one of you have a blessed week and I hope to see you out on the road.